Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today I will show you how you can uh, check your model with two different ways. One we will check with the vanilla tools from Revit, I mean you don't need to install anything, we have like checker in Revit. And the second thing I will show you the one perfect tool, it's totally free, what you can download and check your model. So let's speak about the first tool, uh, you will find it under the collaborate and here the interface, the check. So I will say this is Clash Detective. So uh, this is pretty same working like in Navis work, but not so much better like in Navis work. Anyway, like an architect, this is modern enough. So let's I'll show you. So you will run the test and uh, this is model checker asking you what you want to check uh, between or what. So I want to check, for example, wall between walls. I will say OK and no interference detected. So this is cool. But let's make the trouble. So I will do like this, uh, no, like this and like this. So as you can see, it's not uh, it's not uh, like joining now and this is now like intersect. So let's go to the interface and again run the check. Now again wall between wall and let's say OK. And now we get the trouble as you can see. We perfectly know where is it and for example if I know if I have the big model and uh, I don't know what is that wall I can use the ID number or I can just select this model if I cannot st if I still cannot see the my model I can say show and Revit immediately will show me where is this wall so how to use ID may I think everyone knows but if you don't know how to use ID you should go to the uh, wait hold on to the manage and here the select ID you just type the number ID of this wall that's it uh, this is not uh, finish uh, I mean this is not just uh, checking the wall uh, let's say you have the situation like this your wall going a bit inside to the door it happens sometimes you know that uh, but if you have the large scale um, project uh, this is really hard to control. So how you can check it? Actually pretty easy, you should go back again to the collaborate, find again uh, interface checker and run uh, checker. So, but now you should say you want check uh, doors or wall, up to you, doors between and walls. So as you understand, right? Say OK and Revit immediately will say like we have the trouble. Uh, as you can see, Revit showing us this is trouble. So, but but uh, if I will do like this, let's say I will uh, change position of my door and I will refresh it, so you can see not any trouble at all. Uh, you can do what with whatever you want. For example, you can use for with the uh, curtain walls, with the um, I don't know windows and maybe some. Uh, model and component so up to you this is model checker uh, immediately will show you some trouble so this is first way how you can check your model and right now I will show you the second one for the second one I will use this model uh, some other model this one uh, and I will show you what uh, the program can do so actually you can download it for, for free Mm, I will uh, I will leave the uh, this link below this video so you will you will find in the description. Uh, so uh, the name of this program beam uh, in the priority tools. So this is a really cool thing. It's totally free. Uh, let's go to the setup and I'll show you what this program can do. Uh, actually, the current checker list it's the um, like list of the uh, of the rules. Uh, what you will use in your model when you will check it. Here a lot of different uh, different things like from Denver airports and some Kobe, some from the Autodesk thing, even from the some university, in, even you will find from the US Army. So uh, here a lot of uh, already uh, have the some standards, but we will use uh, like uh, some simplest one, this one. So I will say OK and what we can check. So as you can see, this is model beam uh, uh, requirements, quality control, blah, 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 and model checks. So what 
about the model checks. Uh, purge. So this is really uh, important. Sometimes when you are working like beam coordinator or like a beam manager, you don't have a time to check all these things. So the program will do it for you. So the program checking did the purge this uh, Revit model uh, about the warnings, uh, line styles, everything. So uh, this program will check everything for you. And element checks like uh, some people want uh, I not I, I mean not people some organization want when you will finish your model and group everything so this is sometimes the it's like a rule and that's why here the program checking uh, uh, did it uh, ungroup or no so let's I'll start uh, start this uh, checker and we will see in real time what's going on here so now it's working uh, checking the my model in just few seconds it's not will take much so here we are and as you can see we passed like 75 percent only uh, it looks like bad but anyway uh, we failed only one one thing and i already know what we failed we failed actually the uh, let's go to the uh, as you can see we failed here something element checks and yes of course we che we failed the groups because i still have some groups and if you will go here you will see the break room save uh, settings and blah 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 we have the groups so we should ungroup and after that everything will be clear so let's uh, try uh, i will just simply i will delete uh, let's select everything so um, for example this break rooms select visible view and I will just ungroup it so I will do this all these things so visible view and ungroup it and we will see the difference between uh, between what we have before so one more and workstation ungroup it so I will go back to the uh, beam checker and let's run the report again. It will uh, move faster because we already did previous one. And as you can see, we passed uh, uh, this test. So 100% everything okay, fail zero, and we passed like uh, uh, 13 checkers. This is really cool. You can do your own checker. If you are interested about this program, just let me know below this comment and I will make the different, I mean, like separate tutorial uh, about this program because it's really cool. And I think if you want to be like BM coordinator or BM manager, you should know how to use this program because it will make your life much easier than before. So, but for today it's finished. Uh, all the links you will find below this video so check it download it use it and do whatever you want and thank you guys for watching and see you soon and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time